Today's abridged scripture reading is from Numbers chapter 22, where we find Balak, king of Moab, in great fear of the armies of Israel. His fear drove him to ask a prophet named Balaam to curse the Israelites. After inquiring of the Lord, Balaam refused. But Balak was relentless, and in verse 19, Balaam says, I will find out what else the Lord will say to me. And God came to Balaam at night and said to him, If the men have come to call you, rise and go with them, but you shall do only the thing that I tell you. So Balaam arose in the morning, saddled his donkey, and went with the leaders of Moab. But God was angry that he was going, and the angel of the Lord took his stand in the road as an adversary against him. Now he was riding on his donkey, and his two servants were with him. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with his sword drawn in his hand, the donkey turned off from the road and went into the field, and Balaam struck the donkey to guide her back onto the road. Then the angel of the Lord stood in a narrow path of the vineyards, with a stone wall on this side and on that side. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, she pressed herself against the wall and pressed Balaam's foot against the wall, so he struck her again. Then the angel of the Lord went further and stood in a narrow place where there was no way to turn, to the right or to the left. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, she lay down under Balaam. So Balaam was angry and struck the donkey with his staff. Then the Lord opened the mouth of the donkey, and she said to Balaam, What have I done to you, that you have struck me these three times? And Balaam said to the donkey, It is because you have made a mockery of me. If only there had been a sword in my hand, for I would have killed you by now. But the donkey said to Balaam, Am I not your donkey on which you have ridden all your life to this day? Have I ever been in the habit of doing such a thing to you? And he said, No. Then the Lord opened Balaam's eyes, and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way with his sword drawn in his hand, and he bowed all the way to the ground. Then the angel of the Lord said to him, Why have you struck your donkey these three times? Behold, I have come out as an adversary, because your way was reckless and contrary to me. But the donkey saw me and turned away from me these three times. If she had not turned away from me, I certainly would have killed you just now and let her live. So Balaam said to the angel of the Lord, I have sinned, for I did not know that you were standing in the way against me. Now then, if it is displeasing to you, I will turn back. But the angel of the Lord said to Balaam, Go with the men but you shall speak only the word that I tell you. So Balaam said to Balak, Behold, I have come to you now. Am I really able to speak anything? The word that God puts in my mouth, that only shall I speak. Most of us have experienced frustration when it comes to personal issues. But what are those of us who are believers to do when we're frustrated and the roadblock comes from God Himself? Sometimes God uses frustration to get our attention. It can help us think about things we wouldn't otherwise consider and perhaps redirect our path toward something new or different. So when you're harried by feelings of anxiety or restlessness, don't rush to bury or escape them. Instead, consider them internal signals, as if your conscience is saying, it's time to turn inward, listen to the Holy Spirit, and process your feelings. Rest assured, if these stirrings are from God, they will not go away, and when they recur, we need to give Him our undivided attention. We will begin to see that He loves us enough to send something very specific to ensure we're on the correct path with Him. It's an honor to have our sovereign Creator invested in our personal life, so invested, in fact, that He may frustrate us in order to show us a better way. At the end of the day, it's all because of His great love and His intention to conform us to the image of His Son.